We are here in the middle of the desert trying to show you this beautiful saguaro bus in its natural habitat and we can't forget what it used to look like when she rolled in, converted back in the early 2000s and now she's got the Leisure Coachworks love and touch and now let's see what she looks like. A lot of love, a lot of time, a lot of research, and this is what you got. No detail was too small and nothing was overlooked. So let's go into the details that makes this beauty shine. We've got the rub rails installed. We have a CG glass window right here. So when this is closed and you're hanging out inside in this bay, because there's access from the passenger side booth to drop in and make this a kid's play area. Over here we have more of that lower rub rail installed. This air conditioner used to be in the front. The customer wants to put their spare tire. So we relocated it, ran new lines, put it right here. Right here we have the beautiful wash down area hiding those high capacity gray and black water tanks accurately monitored with the sea level system with another fresh water tank over here and this area didn't even used to be here we got an old door we cut it we modified it we made it look like the rest of the coach and we gave this customer access perfect place for a plug and that wasn't even there in the beginning and like everything else we do at leisure coachworks we want to make it look like it was designed to be that way and it was like that way from the factory can't forget that beautiful hand done airbrushed Arizona sunset with all the details that you would see in Arizona. Those Nova 2 Girard awnings on the driver's side that are not full extension so it gives you just enough shade. It's like having a window awning but it gives it that nice streamlined look all the way along and the front and the rear caps are all blended in to where it's all the same height making it look like it was designed to be that way. Down here we got brand new exhaust tips installed. The rear bumper has been Rhino lined, installed with those proximity sensors letting you know how close you are. It's got a new seven way plug, all new LED lights, new LED second brake light, new high mount light, the OmniView camera system. Um, it takes four images. There's one on each side of the coach, one in the front, and it pencils it together and puts it in one bird's eye OmniView 360 degree camera system, making sure you don't hit anything wherever you go. Bam! Big awning on this side. You got the full motion Nova Girard awning on this side. Comes out, drops down, giving you ample shade wherever you want to be. Docking lights installed in that beautiful rub rail. More leisure LED lights on the outside on this side. A matching mural, polished wheels. We tried to service the last basement AC that was in this, but all the parts were discontinued. So we took it out, put a brand new Coleman Mach 2 ton plus basement residential style air conditioner to make sure that the whole coach is cool no matter where you're at. Over here you have the Rover MPP solar controller making sure you don't lose voltage between the solar, the controller, and the huge battery bank that we have over here. We've relocated the inverters that were here over to here so that way you have the access inside living area and get into the bay. Under here we have eight lithium lion UT 1300 12 volt huge capacity batteries giving this coach ample energy doesn't need a plug can go anywhere he wants with 600 watts of power and the battery bank right here and a charge controller that isn't going to lose voltage gives you plenty of time without a plug and no need for the generator can't forget the front have that diamond shield installed right here giving that paint that protection that's going to make this build last the test of time a lot of places out there skimp out on the little things and when you bring a coach to Leisure Coach Works, we want to make sure that we put that attention to detail so the whole coach lasts the time that you want it to. Have our Leisure Coach Works logo, hand done, airbrush to match the side murals. Got the brand new, beautiful, upgraded headlights installed. Got the front camera for the OmniView system. All new clearance lights giving this coach that brand new, fresh out the showroom look even though she's a 94. Well, you can't forget what's on the top of this roof that makes this bus so beautiful and so versatile so you can go anywhere you wanna go and have all the comforts of home. 
Starting in the front, you have a jack antenna giving you digital over the air TV, your RF mogul giving you dish satellite wherever you are, 600 watts of Renogy solar panel, Monte Cristo, high capacity solar system, all new fantastic vents front to back, and that roof hatch that was relocated slightly towards the passenger side so the customer still has a roof access. And the front and the rear molded cap to blend everything into one smooth, seamless look. Well, that's a wrap out here in the sunny Southern California desert, showcasing this beauty that's taken us into what it is now from the pride and the craftsmanship that turned this old 94 conversion into what you see here. If you like it, follow, subscribe. If you're in the neighborhood, stop on by in Fontana, California. We got two more projects to come. Stay tuned and you won't be disappointed. All right, let's do this. Let's just get this done. Of me and boom and dan da da. And that fly just landed on my arm and he was like, hey man, I want to be part of the shot. And I was like, wait a minute, is it a tarantula? From back when it was what it before. <laughs> bam! Can't forget the passenger side. Everybody over there knows bam already. Who's bam? More energy. Over here, you can't forget the Rover MPPT. <laughs> Split the difference with you. Oh, Brought to you, and you're sure to be enjoyed. Showing you all the details that makes this bus so bad. No one can see. Before we didn't have this, we didn't have that, we didn't have this, we didn't have that lady over there, we didn't have this. Let's get it going. Okay, cool. God, that coach looks bitching, dude.